And then for the last one that we have got is if we've got something and we just sort of mess up these. By the way, if you want to change any of the tangent types, just draw a line through. You don't have to grab the end. They can be a little bit tricky to grab. So common animator technique is to drag through the middle and then middle click to move. And you do want to be in the move mode. But fixed, which is down here. So if you grab a line through that, we've got one last tangent type fixed. That will just stay the same. So they just don't move any of the time. So there you go. That's all the tangent types there. They're really quite easy, simple things. We're going to get into the next area here, which is handling them and breaking them apart and making them longer and shorter as well. And we'll get into some more shelf icons next. Now, if you want to change any of the default tangents as well, I'll just show you this as a quick heads up. Under settings in animation here, we've got actual uh, auto tangent here in and out. So you can actually change the default tangent types there to auto or to whatever you want. Or if you want your default curves to be weighted tangents, which we'll get into in a second. So just as a heads up, if you do want to change your defaults, they're there. By default, we are in auto and I believe this is a pretty good one to go with. 